Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge former 3.3 preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. We are finally in possession of Yavin, which is not going to be attacking us anymore, which only leaves Vajun in front of it. We have Felucia conquered over here, so what I do want to do is take Vajun. But we do have a few other things to build. Uh, Vajarin, <laughs> we can... You know what, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. We'll just keep that one. It's Maldrudes, but, you know, Empire Award decided to provide. Uh, and we are kind of in the process of taking over a lot of these planets in the CSA. So we've already got most of them taxed. Um, we're building up an army to invade some of them with. Because we don't have a ton in the area right now. We, I guess we have the stuff on Felucia and some of the stuff over here. But I don't want to move them around too much. Uh, so, we are going to primarily keep some focus on the core right now. We took Kuat back, uh, and we're going to be trying to get some armies into uh, into Commodore. The idea was to separate the New Republic, but with the way things are currently set up, like they could still get out through Talus and Trallis. Uh, so it doesn't really get us that much at the moment, unfortunately. So we're, I think we're just going to jump straight back into, uh, into Balmora. And we're going to try to get the influence to 10 on that so we can get some, some neat influence units. Uh, so we'll just, we'll just back off of there for now. We're going to lose some stuff to hypervelocity gun, or ion cannons rather, if we stay there too long. So we'll just come here and, uh... Hopefully does not get attacked anymore. Once we have the hypervelocity gun Enemy done on Kuat, then we'll probably jump back in. We've located the enemy. Okay. Uh so I I did have to reload the auto save there. I had to go and do something, and then for some reason I just reloaded instead of pausing in the battle. Anyways. We are Move out. gonna just drop in our heroes here. And I, I am kind of considering sending Thrawn or Pelion to a different fleet. Maybe keep Thrawn with this one, move Pelion to another one, because they're both really good command bonuses. And we're not really getting the the peak out of them right now. Because we could also fit in some smaller stuff. We got a lot of ISDs here. War Spite, go in, Karaka Doodle Do. I want to make sure we have a, a good set of... I'm uh, just making sure the audio is recording. A good set of different fleets with uh, different capabilities. But for now, it's been working. It's just where we're going to end up with so many battle cruisers. Just like the community challenge. Because we're, we're going to have the fleet that's going south. Dangor is going to be back to normal soon. And I think there is that one fleet that's just north of here. That's on, I think it's Karita. And it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if uh, if we were going to be putting, uh, putting a better admiral with them. Because like right now we have Praji there. That's a secular. That's good. But this is just so Star Destroyery that we might be able to benefit from from some swaps. Like we got the the Allegiance and the World Devastator. I don't know if we need both of those for how this is set up. So there might be a little bit of reorganization coming as we've made at least some progress towards getting our our situation in the core handled. Because that's been kind of messy for a while now, and. It seems like the New Republic is finally starting to lose some ground here. Especially as we move south a bit. We've got like the, the two shipyards cut off at Fondor and Slivas Van, thanks to the Havens as well. So it's... It's going to be harder for the New Republic to... Uh, to do what they've been doing. At the very least, it's depriving some, some good shipbuilding from them. Alright, uh, that's the Golans, you guys come down here, 
And we'll get the shipyard now. I have also been uh, working on some some of the last space units set up for Revenge Revenge. So all but one of these space units should be coded in the next day or so. Uh, the the Swift Sure variant of the Inexpugnable is still going to be outstanding for the moment, but that'd be the last one. I'm kind of hoping we'll be able to get something done for that uh, before I start the Sith playthrough, but I'm going to be looking to start that pretty soon. And it seems like the Sith and the Huts are probably going to be starting at not too dissimilar times. Like I'll probably do the ship selection video for the huts on the on the first of October, and we'll around then we'll hopefully have the the Sith starting. The Sith, like the Revenge Revenge stuff, has the most setup that tends to have to be done because it is such a uh, a young mod. I don't know what word to use there. Reporting. Okay, so I need you back on. But Abrogado and Balmora are the places we want to take. So let's go into into Balmora. As much as I would like to have Palpatine in this, I don't think I'm going to move him away. Okay, what do you got at Commodore? That actually wouldn't be too bad to move to after we finish on Balmora. So we'll do that. All right. And this is going to be a little bit tough with the number of units we have, but I think if we do it nice and slow, we'll get through there and we'll get ourselves some nice cute little X1s. Little Viper Buddies. Who doesn't want a little Viper Buddy? Let me know in the comments if you don't want a little Viper Buddy. Not the snake kind. I can understand not wanting a, a Viper as in a snake near you. Those are, those are mean. Reporting. Okay, Reporting. let's get Ready. all of you guys up there. Yes, sir. Out. Down there, get the XR-85s, and I think we want to have the ATAT -AT come up from this side. Roger. So one of you Advanced. that far up, the rest of you down here. Reporting in. Uh, and we'll get a field base on this next one too. So, you two just stay in here. You guys are going down to that factory. And let's get one of those field bases and we'll move up a little bit more. Because I want to make sure we have... No, you must have slid up that way. Alright, well the ATAT -AT is going to be coming down. So, we'll also bring down the ATSTA and some more stormtroopers. Oh, some of you need to go back and get this one. There we go. Moving. Moving There's a lot of neat little aesthetic stuff going on on this map. Hopefully it's not stuff that kills my, my poor XR. Oops. Okay, you guys are... Well, you're already here, so go for it. And do I have the artillery here? I didn't actually wait for it to come in. Oh, that looks like some reflective armor you got there, buddy. But, apropos of nothing, uh, I have been thinking of doing a video on, like, the top three features we've cut from the mod kind of situation. So, that is something that I, I kind of want to do in the near future. Like, cut content from Empire at War would be a good video as well, I think. Uh, I've done parts of that before, but I think... I don't think I've ever done a like a, just a full standalone video on that, and I think stuff we've cut from the mod, like features or mechanics or units even, might be interesting for people. Okay, this is all falling apart up there. What have I got? So uh, let's just get these two oh, some nice little turrets. Alright, we should be able to take those. 
And you can take cover. Awaiting orders. Copy. I copy. Armor transport ready. Construction. Okay, shoot on that. That is okay, those uh tie crawlers need to go away. So let's get those and we're gonna have you coming up through that. We got more field base stuff. They're all coming in. They're gonna take that. I don't think the yeah, I don't think they're gonna Unit destroyed. do Roger much that. with that. You guys Roger go that. down to that Roger next reinforcement point, up. and let's go up here. We should be able to hold on to that. Reporting and I am going to drop a bomb Roger on that. that. On my way. There we go. Attack run. Awaiting orders. Form up. Scanning so, air. don't worry about that too much. Awaiting That's going to be bombed. Order. We got to get up to barracks. Targets engaged. Copy. Okay, it seems like we're clear on this, so I'm just going to take you guys out of taking cover. Move up there. Maybe I'll leave a couple. Yeah, because it looks like you're making some friends. Okay. You guys, I just want you to get up to where those are going to come in from. Okay, don't get too excited. I'll send you in to help, because this is mostly going to be infantry coming down. And you can get up to there. So you come around as well. And that is take coverable. The ATSTs are going to be able to get you through on that. All right, I think we're I think we're making good progress moving around on this. So keep going around there because we'll have the field base stuff on that side if we need it. Oh, they're actually they're sending their big troop of infantry into the center. So you guys just go that way so you can find them if they're there. And let's separate that. Uh, so where's our Atstus? We're blending in a little bit to the ground there. Let's go. All right. right That's good. Bombardment available. Roger. Right, I think those might be cover. their only remaining units. No, there's still something out here. Wouldn't be surprised if it's on that. Nope. Hmm. Reporting in. It's always the sad part about uh, independence is uh, they're not big on the retreating because we can't have them mixing their forces. Otherwise, you would have had like Yavithans with Balmorans. <laughs> Just can't can't have the factions messed up like that. System recording. All right. So that's good. We want to start you. We want to start you. Um, KDY subsidiary. I mean, we can get both of them, and that'll be good for the influence. Beginning construction. I do kind of want Palpatine there. What are the? I mean, you're you're full of heroes as it is. You're a cautious admin, so I'm gonna actually take you out. Heading out. Fall out. So let's just get them. Reporting. Over there. Because I can save some... Save some money on that. Even though Palpatine's a better bonus and he's next, no, next door. Get out of there. Alright. So, now we get the discounts. Alright, they've moved off of Kuat... So that's all going to be down at Talus and Trallis. Uh, I guess... Even though Dangor is not fully healed, he can still handle that. Let's move out. And what is the pop cap on that fleet? That's 136. What are your best... Your tier 4... Your cowardly and clairvoyant. I'm going to... Sorry. It's got to happen. Sorry, Pelion. You gotta live with that. 
And we can start... Let's, uh, let's get Sleepy Sheepy. We'll get Spirit of Fire. And Little Imperator. I don't know if you guys have a Hyper Velocity Gun, or an Ion Cannon under you, rather. But I'd like to take Commodore and then move in to... Uh, to Abrigado. Okay. Uh, you do need some actual fleets put together. Well, you have uh, you have some friends here on Q-Trick. Let's, Let's get the unit out of there. So I know that's hanging out with the Chariot Lav. But uh, we've been talking, so I've mentioned basically every release cycle that we're hoping to get to the Empire of the Handground stuff in that release cycle, uh, and it's been it's been a lie every time. Well, the hoping part isn't a lie, but the idea that we were getting to it was it turned out to be a lie. Uh, however, as I I think I mentioned it a little bit in this playthrough. But we are finally making some actual movement on that. So, uh, Osritzel in particular has been, well, really just as far as the actual work goes so far, it's just Osritzel. But he's been uh, doing a lot of the, the ground models there. So, the Chiss and the Empire of the Hand each have about 10 ground units that we're doing. And there's two or three that overlap between them. So, that's what, like 17, 18 total units. And so the designs for five of them are done. So the models, uh, designs including model, but not texture. Uh, so those are hopefully not going to be too much longer before we have the whole ground roster set up. Like I had writ done a write up on how they're going to play and what they're going to have uh, about a year ago. So Oz and Philoraptor and then myself a bit are going to be working on the art assets for that. I don't know that they'll be in 0.3, or rather 0.4, but uh, 0.5 at least would be focused on finishing those up. So even if it doesn't turn out to be this particular release, then at least the, the groundwork is being done for it, uh, and they should be uh, of a, a real focus in the near future, like a, a primary focus. Because we're still, for this release, the, the plan is still focusing on the huts. Confirmed. Construction complete. So these ground units, I'm going to send them all in. So you come over here. I'm going to send Palpatine in with them as well. Raider Mill Druid is actually doing some damage in here. What would that be? Roku is New Republic. Garros in Mercana. So they're getting back into shape. Like they do still have a PN. The CSA has a bulwark on Vajun. Galadrin. The fleet of Galadrin must be what they sent to take either Mercana or Garros. So we do still need to take a Bian, Mandalore, and Mon Cal in this area. But for now, the plan is still build up those structures on this side. All right, well, we should be able to take out Commodore with what we got here. So let's get those ground forces in place. And I'm also going to send Thrawn's fleet over to Relifon again. Insist. So we'll have a nice line here. Uh, Empire Rage has been destroyed over Commodore. I guess we were blockading it, moved away, and then there hadn't been a week. But we are still building uh, some infrastructure up. So that is going to go back to being a thing we have to do. Constructing. It'll take a little bit longer. But at least some of those will be done soon. Building under construction. So we have overextended. Belusha is going to be a good place for that, so we'll get that going now. 
Uh, it does actually have some inhabitants, so we can... Building under construction. We can get those. You're going to be building two. You're building going to build something. Order Dama is going to start... We have a hypervelocity gun there, so that's going to kill more of those units. And here we are building production facilities for our assaults in the north. So while I do want to take Commodore, that'll have to be our our last push for a couple of weeks until we've got things better handled. Empire Rage was a dreadnought? No. I forget what it was. Alright. So this will put us over infrastructure for a little while longer, but I think it's worth the I think it's worth the trade-off there. Alright, so let's get Storm Commando Platoons. Let's get Storm Trooper Platoons. ATST Walkers. Very well. Roger that. And I don't think there's enough here that they'd be able to beat us to some of these capturables. We see a target destroyed. So let's go to you. Always ready, sir. Moving out. Enemy has been spotted. My will. Okay, Palpatine. Form up. Friend Palpatine and her pal Friend Patine. See, that's the joke I was going for last episode, and then I just... What? I fucked it up. There you go, crush that. We got a turbo laser. We have artillery this time, even though they have... A... Shield for it. Okay, uh, that's gonna be... A lot of their garrisons coming in here. You need to deploy. So, oh yeah, I think I was talking about this in the in the cut version of the first battle. But I have, so apologies if, the, if that's not true, if I was talking about it before. But uh, I have been asked a few times if we are going to be sticking with Dark Empire for this whole campaign or if we're going to be going to the other regimes. The plan for this one is to stick with Dark Empire because the content in the point three release was pretty focused on this new Dark Empire stuff whereas future content is going to be pretty heavily focused on like Dala and Pelion and beyond so it might be a while before we're in Dark Empire again because we'll be starting after it for uh, for what are most likely to be our next Imperial playthroughs so I want to give everything as much of a chance to shine here as possible. Tactical battle imminent. But I think with the next week or so, we're going to focus on investing into some infrastructure. Like, we overextended a bit, but I did it. Indeed. With the units in place to protect us while we make up for the for the losses. So it shouldn't be too damaging. And I think it's worth having these planets for that extra week of production. Okay. So, Karita, I did still... I forgot to actually build on Karita. I do need to make sure I move him away from Relafon before anyone gets attacked. But... Reporting. We'll need to take Hapes. Palpatine, I might just keep in our... Active force there for a while. Let's get them all together. And I think this grouping is going to go into Pelion's fleet. Uh, which is technically Praji's fe fleet now. Not feet. No feet involved. And when I, I did a, a video on my lore channel, uh, Corey's Datapad, check it out, uh, about Thrawn's fleet. And a lot of people thought the thumbnail said feet. On my way. And I think that's why the video did as well as it did, which is kind of kind of sad but you know you, you just sometimes you just got to take those 
Oh, they're moving through. Nothing I can do about that in that battle. But I think I can just construction complete. get up there and hopefully stop them before they exit through Rintal. I think they might be going up that way. Reporting. Construction complete. Yeah, right you just away. sit on you just sit on Kua right now. Construction complete. Just so they can't take it as Tactical free free real estate. So we'll probably be under infrastructure for another week. Look, sir, it's them. One thing I am concerned about is a framework crash that was in related to New Republic research on the initial release that we'd probably run into here around week 280. So we need to look at what week we're on. You should actually only be down for one more week too. Awaiting your orders. Ready to fire. Awaiting your command. So even if we have to wait a little bit before going and taking another planet, retreat aborted. And we might be able to do some damage. The Havens took Mercana. How are you that far out there? Hmm. It's just Boonta there. Sajansi. Ubrikia. Okay. Well, Ubrikia is another one that we need to have our sights on. I'm going to send you guys actually through to Galanor. Heading out. Because that looks like that's going to start being more of a target. We're still a little while away from completing a lot of the construction that we have on a lot of these planets. Uh, at some point, we are going to be able to integrate Maldrood, and like you sitting there is a good opportunity for us to take a step in that direction. So let's do that. Fallout. Eighty-seven percent dam. Yeah, we're only at minus six now. We took an extra planet in that, so that's why it's not the same differential that or it's not quite the decrease in differential that all the structures we were producing Inbound. would give us because we're still not done a lot of those either but if we can just take out Trayton Matryoshka you can go out. in Dorja Dizon no I don't actually want to stop them from retreating so happy hobgoblin Imperial Warlord Star, a Toaster, and a Claim to Fame. Then I guess some um, anti fire with Icon. Destroy the engines. Commander, getting a lock. So job one is killing Trayton. But if we can kill everyone, then that would be neat. We've got the monsters. Locking on. Acquiring target. Uh, Intercepting. Sir, I... Enemies in range. Who's I target locked. Okay, the two ISDs here. Target so, Abian is their only shipyard, I think. Sir, That's where they would have gotten those from. You're still full I'm shield? Oh, you're not full shields. Okay, I was, I was wondering how that was so healthy if it was getting shot at the whole time. But it wasn't getting shot at the whole time. Right. I'm beyond Trayton, really. I'm happy to just let them, let them live right now. So we'll just leave. As long as they don't take out my engines on anything. Which it doesn't seem like they're gonna. Because we're not gonna take the planet right now anyways. If they want to go and cause problems for the Havens, what's that to me? And that just brings us one step closer to integration if we can 
track him down one more time on the respawn. I was going to give that ship to my second in command anyways. Trayton Teradoc has returned and controlled the Victory Star Destroyer Crimson Sunrise. Order acknowledged. Moving to coordinates. I guess that's what I care. If they're going to be sending it to attack me. Okay, we do need to watch out because the next week is going to mean that someone dies over Relophon. Incoming! Choose your reinforcements. Ding -dong. Affirmative. Downloading orders. Order confirmed. Any amount of damage they do in this battle, we're going to just recover. They're not going to do 10%. Or 7%. We were at 87. Because as soon as you're over 90, it pops back up to 100 health. So that little fleet that's been causing problems up here the whole time should be gone. I don't know where uh, their Celestian hero went. I don't know where he's going to pop up. Because he has to be in the background there still somewhere. There's no way he would have made it out through Kuat in the brief moment we had no one there. And we're still... Yeah, we were constructing the station the whole time. Building started. Constructing. Those are nearly done. Don't want to invade. We do still need to take out that fleet, though, too. And we need to actually take Enzoth. But you're gonna... You have a hypervelocity gun, so you're getting there. Alright. What do we want to do with some of that money now? Oh, Felucia we got to... Maybe I should, like... Maybe I should have just taken out the planet. Because I guess we, we only half interrupted a plan there. Not the planet, the whole fleet, rather. It's kind of sad that we lost a station. We've come across enemy units. Choose your reinforcements. Coming around. Heading to destination. Calculating. Jump to light speed. All right. Like all, babe. That. Star destroyer standing by. Maximum power to shields. Crews are online. Commander, destroy the engine. And if you try to retreat, then we'll just have these engines down. They only sent half the fleet from it because they thought, oh, they be left, so we have this opportunity. No, you don't. You don't have this opportunity. I'm taking this opportunity from you. Yes, Commander. Ready. Awaiting your Ready. Our target an ISD for it. I was I wanted you to have this ISD. I gave you that option in your life to keep this ISD. And you have just decided to throw it away because you thought you could take Felucia. Like, unless you're putting in some sort of search for Maris Brood and you think that's worth it, then what do you got? You got nothing. Uh, as much fun as it would also take to, or be to take Galadran, I don't think I can do it at the moment. Uh, you are nearly done. You are still going to be shooting them. We already finished one there. Saflor is getting another structure down. Uh, this is going to be heavy factories. Yes. Let's do one more of those. So... As long as they don't take Liana or something, I think we're good. Cruiser reporting. What do we still have for money? Or for things that we want to build immediately? I think Akasi, he will get a station. Until we can get a station. Yinkor, we can get a station now that they're gone. Karita as well. Hopefully they don't show back up over them. 
I'll do it on all these planets, even though there is a chance that they're going to come back. So I'm going to just move out of Relophon. They don't have anything there that can get in. Because the bordering planets are owned by us or Hapes. How to invade Obersky. Okay, well that cancelled our, our production. Uh, so maybe I, th maybe we should move to Obra Sky with Thrawn's fleet. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Before they complete. That can take that. I don't know if they're gonna invade or if this is just a raid. But there was no structure there. Yeah, this that's an invasion. Communications disruption can only mean one thing. Maltrude's a dick. Darn. They got in too fast. But we have we have a good shot at this. Like a lot of those are gonna struggle to take down a turbo ATAT, -AT, especially if we can put a uh, any repairs on them. Reporting. So let's deploy you. Brigade standing by. Awaiting orders. I'm gonna get an AA turret here. Reporting. Proceeding to target. On my way, sir. We've got the repairs there already. Armor ready. Ready for recon. Gearing up. And this is going to be an AA turret. Then we're going to put some AV turrets on the entrance here. We got, we got the funds. We've got the income for it. We'll get some field bases. Yep, there's another one. Turret constructing. Construction. Right away. Luring you over. Aha, losers. Okay, well, it's, it's not exactly what I was hoping for. I guess the artillery's dead. Yes, Commander. Tank brigade ready. Artillery online. Turret has been sold. Reporting. Affirmative. A lot of those are going to come in from behind. New coordinates. Okay. Uh, to that. Don't charge. Yes, the port order acknowledged. Deploy there. Let's get AA turrets on this. Ready. That's as good as we can do this. Order alert. Keep going. Roger that. Base is under attack. Just focus on that. Reporting. Okay. Let's see if we can lure them in again. A turret for sure. There we go. Come on, you can you can do it. We're gonna kite away and get some shields. ATAT ready. Weapons armed. Okay, well if you're just gonna be focusing on there, I I can understand that at least. And you guys, like you really need to kill the things that are gonna be a threat to you. You're our most important thing. Advancing. You cannot sacrifice yourself for someone else. Awaiting orders. Okay, except for maybe maybe this. Reporting in. Can you shoot that? No, you're not gonna be able to hit that. Uh can you hit that then? And let's get these soldiers in there. You're gonna be killing that. But I think we're okay on those. And let's get the speeder bikes over here. Okay, everyone else can just go back. Alright, those have all gone away. Oh, no, you're, you're back. Welcome back. No, don't don't get don't get lured. Don't get lured out of there. This is supposed to be This is supposed to be your your happy day. 
Okay, we still got enough AA. Right away. Okay, I need you guys to be a little bit faster heading over to this side. Moving to that area, sir. On my way. Order. Nope, I just want you to attack them. They are not gonna get through. They're not a they're not a problem for you. They are just ATRTs next to a turret. No, 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 no. You were facing the right way. You were doing the right thing. Don't, don't let them make, make you second guess yourself. It just looks like a lot of stuff on the, on the mini map. Affirmative, sir. Scanning the area. Providing backup. Scout trooper reporting. Yes, commander. Spread out, man. Okay, with the repairs, they're not going to be able to get through our artillery either. That's a field base that you are thinking you can destroy. Which, I mean, or I was thinking you could destroy. You can't, though. Good job. You dropped the bomb. It's all about sending that message. Alright, now let's walk down. Okay, we did it. We did it. We got them. They're going to leave. Enemy fleet approaching. And a Commodore. That's a that's a worse one. Actually. Heading out. Six hundred and twenty-seven. So this is where that fleet went. What is it even connected to? Like this has the outer bounds of Emberleen, Druckenwell, all this. Okay, so it's just this area. They have an interdictor, so we can't get out that way. We can take that nebula, that'd be neat. This is not a happy day for Pallion either. I wonder if the Eclipse should head into this side. Enemy forces ahead. Like, we're gonna probably retreat once we kill that interdictor over there. So I'm gonna try to just Awaiting your orders. get our fighters in. Awaiting your command. Tie defender standing by. Your command, sir. Bomber standing by. Okay. Bomber squadron. All reporting. fighters and bombers squadron over there. Moving out. Your orders. You guys move back. Commander. Full stop. I think I need your to just command, move sir. all of these guys Roger that. around. To destination. The nebula is there as well. If we could just punch through on this side. I don't want to fight the... Bombers at the I don't want to fight the whole fleet, but I do want to maybe pick away at a few things before we leave. And I mean, until we kill the interdictor, there's no choice we have. Ready to receive orders. But... We should have enough here that, even with it being a smaller ship, we should be able to kill it with our bombs. Nice. Okay, see if you can turn this into a nebula kill as well. Because that's going to be one of the most damaging ships, but also the most fragile. Fighters, where's our TIE Bomber, or er, TIE Defenders? TIE Defender, TIE Defender, TIE Defenders. Ready for orders. Okay, you guys are getting the K-Wings, I guess. Skip rays. Where's 
the bombers. Got four bomber squads. Really five because of the, the types. I'm getting one of these seven. That's good. You move out there. Like the the anti fighter they have in this area is gonna be real punishing. All right, by sticking around, we're really just asking for losses. So we take that one and we go. As much as I would have wanted to kill a few more of these, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that without losing too many of our ships for it to be worth it. So we'll retreat from here, and I think we do want to send the uh, the Eclipse in from Agregado. I know it's one planet off from Fondor, so maybe I should just take that. We kill the Dauntless, we kill TC-7700E, and we lost Beauty of the Sea. We can get that back, though. Because I don't think moving off of Abrogado will open them up too much. But we might be able to distract this fleet. Yeah, they're going into Sicoria. It's a hypervelocity gun. I'm going to have to cancel this because they're probably just going to take this planet. The Golan 2 isn't going to be able to beat that HV gun. Well, we might lose Sicoria outright, but... I need to hold on to Commodore, and Palpatine should make it possible to hold on to Commodore. Alright, let's uh, see if you're not going to move. Get one more of those. We'll just try to kill everything but the, but the bulwark, I guess. Is, was there four... In the other fleet, or were there just the three? If there were just three, then they've split them up here, and we might be able to get into Sicoria with the Eclipse. Oh, come on. Reporting. Attacking. Advancing on target. Well, we're gonna be able to kill that interdictor as well. An unfortunate waste of a uh, hypervelocity gun shot is coming up. Hypervelocity gun available. Current commander here. Okay, congratulations on your missile missile shield. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy you. This would have been more useful near your fleet. Our space station is under attack. Right, get back there. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to take out a Dauntless or two. Alright, everyone just get over to that. I don't know if we'll actually be able to do anything with this. Or station. No, we got this. Okay, let's uh, let's see if the other one's possible too. I I'm guessing no. Here, you guys go around there. Red fighter, stop theirs. Okay, those are close enough that they're actually getting hammered by the heavies. Heavies are inaccurate against smaller stuff, but we're we're too close with it. Commander, they're hitting us. Where'd he go? IPV reporting. Could do the the cheap run around the map and then hyper velocity gun cheese them, but we're not gonna do it. Just not gonna do it. Alright. If we lose Sicoria, that's not the end of the world. It does open us up to another angle, though. 
Uh, in it? No, if we move, then they're gonna be able to get into Duro from Fondor again. So we have to be able to do something, but that's... No, that is four, so they had another one in there. But they can reinforce, and that would be bad. Kumat's getting an HV gun. Commodore. Well, let's see if they what they do with Commodore. Tactical battle imminent. Construction. We're gonna auto resolve, and I guess we're gonna have to see what they do with Commodore next time. Because we are about 50 minutes in. So thank you for watching. Hope you are enjoying the series so far, as things are tensing up in the core once again. But We'll hopefully be able to do some real damage in the next episode. Let's just take a quick look at how the breakdown's happening right now. 34% for the New Republic. We're only at 24, and the Havens are actually getting close to us as well. So still some big enemies for us to fight as we get towards the later stages of the campaign. Thank you again for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.